Grog, Queen of Quiet and Iris is also getting going on the stand side with 200 meters left to go. Falls Dancer being tackled by Capitana and Iris in the middle is also coming home hard into the closing stages. It's Capitana that claims the advantage close home and Capitana wins it from Iris. He doesn't know how to run a bad race. Yeah, as I said to you, you know, she was a that started her racing late and uh, you know, played in her favour. You know, she started her racing, she was a much stronger, much more mature filly than, than they usually are. And uh, we built her up to, to a race that was um, black type, you know, obviously very, very important for Richmond Highlands. And uh, you know, this was the race that we were marked to start off with and we'll look ahead to the summer season. But uh, nice to get this one on that one. Yeah, she obviously would have needed her last one a little bit. She was coming up a bit of a break, and that was a good effort finishing second, so she was spot on today. Yes, I mean, she showed her ability last season when she ran um, totally out of the weights to clouds in cold one day. Um, she ran well above her rating, and, uh, you know, she's, she's probably getting to that rating now. So, fully on the up, for fully, that uh, still very, very exciting things to come from her. As I said, to Richmond Highlands, the whole Keys Veta family, um, obviously for the farm, very important, and uh, glad we could get the job done. Fantastic to see Iris running a bold race in second. You know, she absolutely vaulted in Port Elizabeth last time. Um, she just didn't get the six furlong, I don't think, because she loomed up next to me. But a one-two for Richmond Highland, absolutely fantastic. It's very Donnelly and Tempies, and obviously Greg Crawford uh, not on course today. Well done to everybody involved. Yeah, brilliant. Well done to you and the sponsors and uh, Richmond Highland. Fantastic. Well done. Thanks very much. Thanks Greg. so much.